soon will be time to get ready for hurricane season. That's right. And I got to spend some time uh, at the National Tropical Weather Conference in South Texas, and I got to talk uh, one on one with a man who comes out each year with one of the most highly anticipated hurricane forecasts. Here is part one of our conversation. Probably the most preeminent, most accurate seasonal hurricane forecast comes from Dr. Phil Klocksbach at uh, Colorado State University. And he is joining me now to talk about his hurricane forecast that was just released. So first of all, what's your forecast? Yeah, we're forecasting an above average Atlantic hurricane season, a total of 19 storms. Of those 19, nine becoming hurricanes, and of those nine, four becoming major category three, four, five hurricanes. Those are hurricanes with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. That compares with an average season, which is 14 storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. And that number is, that's way above average. What, what, what are you seeing this year that really for two years in a row, you're seeing these numbers that are way up here? Yeah, so we are forecasting an above normal season. One of the big reasons is that we don't think we're going to see El Nino um, this summer and fall. El Nino is warmer than normal waters in the central and eastern tropical Pacific. When that occurs, it tends to increase winds at upper levels in the atmosphere, say 20, 30,000 feet, the tear apart hurricanes in the Atlantic. Unfortunately, we don't foresee that for this summer and fall. We think the wind patterns are going to be more conducive for hurricanes to form. But in general, more active seasons do have more landfalls. On average, about one in every four hurricanes that forms hits the U.S. So if you have, say, nine hurricanes versus three, it just increases your odds. Certainly you can have a, a very active season with no landfalls or a pretty quiet season that has one or more significant impactful hurricanes like Alicia in 83 or Hurricane Andrew in 1992. CSU got a great forecast a year of only one major hurricane, but it was Hurricane Andrew which slammed into South Miami-Dade County as a category five. And what are your thoughts since we're talking uh, almost like you have 20 darts that you're throwing around. How many do you think are affecting Texas and maybe even Southeast Texas specifically? Yeah, so we, we can't say months in advance, you know, where these storms are going to go. On average, the probability of a hurricane being within like 50 miles of Texas is about 35%. This year we have it at about 50%. It's elevated just because we're forecasting an above normal hurricane season. But with the state of Texas, you know, the hurricane season runs June to November and peaks in early to mid September. But Texas's peak for landfalls is actually a bit earlier. Um, you actually have more hurricane or major hurricane landfalls during August and in September, while Florida tends to be later in the season. So, you know, Texas, when the hurricane season starts, the threats really do ramp up for the state of Texas. Wow, it's really incredible to listen to him and what they can predict for the upcoming months. There's 22 different uh, companies, whether that's a college or whether college and universities, whether it's private companies or the government agencies, 22 different predictions that come out for a hurricane forecast. And all the ones that have come out so far are all saying this is going to be well above average. And the big reason is those warm waters in the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic and also no wind shear. Wind shear, El Nino's are good because they rip storms apart. We didn't have that last year. It doesn't look like we're going to have that this year. So storms, once they form, they're going to be able to do whatever they want. And no matter what happens, we hear you say it all the time, it's vital to be prepared just in case. You have to be prepared. And it's not too early, especially with the tax-free weekends coming up, to start building your hurricane camp so that you're ready. The worst thing you can do is uh, there's a storm that forms quickly in the Gulf of Mexico. We're talking about a hurricane hitting southeast Texas two days before and you have nothing that's prepared and you need water, you need canned food. You, that's just the beginning. You need a lot of things and so you got to start thinking about it right. now because hurricane season starts in June and we can start seeing those storms form then because for us our season starts early all the way into August. By the time we get to September, uh, late October, we're pretty much done with it. We have a window